In today's app chat, a solution to the shift to making some deals on the go using your cell phone. Independent e-business consultant Francie Black is here this afternoon with an app that lets us record those all-important phone conversations that you might be having on your cell phone. Absolutely. So what this app does is it allows you to record conversations on your smartphone, either Android or iOS. You can't do that now because, you know, you have the whole voice uh, recording stuff. No, you no? cannot do it built in. You cannot. Hmm. Nope. You have to have an app to do that. And that's okay, what, so the one what do you do? Well, there's a couple different ways that you do this. The app that I use is called No Notes, but the reason why somebody might want to record a conversation, a lot of times people will use it for business, so recording contract negotiations, like realtors are using it, lawyers are using it, um, researchers using it. Good point, lawyers. Now, is there a legal <laughs> distinction about what can be recorded and what can't? Or how you can go about that? I mean, do well, you get in trouble if I say I got a recording of somebody and you didn't tell well, them? Well, there are consent laws, and you right. can check online to see what the consent laws are in different states. Sometimes it's a two-party where you have to, yeah. know, both yeah, parties have, have to know, or sometimes it's a right. single party. In North Carolina, it is a single party. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. So as long as you're not lots. doing anything nefarious <laughs> with the recording, then you're probably okay. <laughs> <laughs> On the, um, but the other, for personal reasons too, a lot of people are using this in order to record like historical family information. So maybe you've had, um, a conversation with a grandparent that lives on the other side of the country and you want to record right. history. So you can record that phone conversation and you can actually in this app you have it transcribed as well. So we'll talk about that. Transcribes it for you. Yeah, nice. it does. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is, this, is a, this is what it would look like once this you've downloaded a, it? This is exactly what it, what it looks like. And this particular app is called No Notes. No Notes Call Recording. And you go into the app once you've created an account and you just say record my call. So you tap it and it brings up your directory of calls or you can tap to put in a phone number. Put in your number that you're going to call. And I wanted to point out that you can call. This works in U.S., Canada, and they've just added U.K. just about two weeks ago. And I just got word from them this morning that they are also adding Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, in January, so you'll be able to do some international calls as well. Does so the caller know? I mean, if the person you're talking to, they don't know if you're recording or not. That's up to you. Okay. That's so up to you. There's no beeping in this particular app. Some of the apps beep every 15 seconds. This one does not. Okay. So it's up to you whether or not you want to notify them or not. Interesting. So you actually call out using through No Notes. It calls out to them. Okay. And then actually, you're calling out to a No Notes server, and it actually calls back to you and connects you to the number that you're calling. So you're actually hitting their servers and then the no notes servers are recording the call. So that's what's happening. And while you're on your call, you can actually see it tells you, hey, you're recording that call. That's what I see on my side. Uh, so you see. make your call, you're talking along, and when you're done, just hang up or close out of your phone. And then you can go into my calls and you can see a history of all the calls that you've recorded and if you want to hear it, just tap on any of the calls that you want to hear and gives you all of your call details when you, when you place the call, how long it recorded. Um, you can play the call, hear it back, and you can you actually can transcribe. transcribe. It says that here, transcribe yeah, the call. Yeah, this is the only app that I know that will actually do a transcription as well. And so they literally have people service on the other side that will literally type it out and give you a textual file. And, and it, it's it is as good as the Google Voice thing. Where, you <laughs> I mean, know, it's great. The, it actually, the words are the real the words you were using. Yeah, they're right? the real words. Yeah, yeah, there's actually real people that do this transcription. <laughs> that's, that's pretty wild. Does it take, I wonder, because sometimes these apps take a lot of space or they require a lot of memory. Well, these are actually, this one particularly, the files, the audio files are actually stored on the on no, their server. On okay. their server. So it does not take a lot of space so on your thing. phone. Yeah. And when you're done with the call, it will notify you through email and say, hey, your recording is ready. This is an email. And you can actually forward this to somebody else. So if you wanted to share it, you can do that. You can also uh, share it on you know, any of your social networks that you like. So it's a pretty neat app. Really cool. Yeah, it's got a lot of versatility. I mean, there's a lot of uh, different options with this. There program. are. One other feature that I wanted to point out. I showed you how to call out and make a call, but if right. somebody calls you and you're talking to them, you say, oh, I want to record this conversation, you don't have to hang up and go call the no notes server. You can actually just say, record active call, and it will automatically start. That's a pretty you, nifty yeah. app. It you is know, a really neat app, yeah. I think you can find a use for that. Absolutely. <laughs> just be careful with it. Independent <laughs> e-business consultant, Francie Black, thanks for being with us Thank this you, afternoon. Frank. And if you want to learn more about the apps, she showcased today. Well, you can go to WLOS.com and click on Tech Time, and that's where you'll find all the information to sign up for Francie's e-newsletter.